Out of all the classes in the game, Warlocks have impressed me so much. There's so much versatility with them. We actually did a Chaos Reach build the other day, and it was so nasty now that it's been buffed even more here on consoles. Feel free to check that one out. Today's build, guys, is going to be revolving around Voidwalker. We're going to be rocking a Telesto. We're also going to be rocking Nezarak Sin, an armor perk called Light Reactor, a couple of super mods, a Fusion Rifle Scavenger perk, and a Fusion Rifle Reserve perk. All of which will be combined here with the Attunement of Fission. Now granted, we also rock this with Top Tree Voidwalker a little bit, just to take advantage of Chaos Accelerant there for your grenades. First, let's educate ourselves on Nezarak Sin again. Void Damage Kills Increase Ability Energy Recharge Rate. Now this is any Void Damage Kill, which is why we're using something like Telesto. Telesto here is a Void Weapon, thus resulting in Abyssal Extractors always being activated. To make things even better, Savage here has the Telesto Catalyst, which increases those ammo reserves. Now the Light Reactor perk here is you gain bonus super energy on fusion rifle kills. It rolls on your helmet. You can essentially roll the same thing for snipers and for shotguns. Where something like Light Reactor is super beneficial, at least in terms of Telesto, is that in PvE, landing multi-kills is not a difficult task. The crystals from Telesto do a lot of damage and clumped up enemies will all explode together. This is also something you could take advantage of with Telesto in PvP, as this is what gets a lot of people killed when they group up together. And the more enemies you get a kill with, the more you buff Abyssal Extractors and prolong that ability recharge rate. Speaking of which, ability recharge rate that Nezarak Sin states, I thought it was just related to your melee and your grenade. Turns out, boys, that Nezarak Sin actually buffs your super recharge rate when Abyssal Extractors is activated. So let's look at the results. First up, this is a very crude method of measuring this. I, I get it, guys. I was not able to stay on his account long enough in order to get the time frame down. I would much rather have done this to a, a time reduction versus me giving you these millimeters, and these millimeters aren't even to scale. But I will say this. Everything here is the same. I'm using the same clip settings, the same scale rate at 300. I'm also rotating my ruler here at negative three degrees and keeping it in at a 175 scale. I just want you to know that these things are constant. So without either Nezarak Sin or Light Reactor, after obtaining one kill, we have a jump of only three millimeters. Again, the millimeters means nothing here. This is just a unit of measurement. This is just to compare with each other. With Nezarak Sin, but without Light Reactor, we have a jump of 5.5 millimeters. So almost double the jump there. And again, for all of these clips, I'm waiting almost an entire three seconds to allow for Abyssal Extractors there at the top left to run out. Now with Light Reactor plus Nezarak Sin, we have a big jump here of seven millimeters. Now guys, this is all based on just one kill. The point I'm trying to make here is that the time reduction that you get overall for your super is very quick. As in, I was getting my super within a minute and 20 seconds of each other and i'm sure i could get it even faster that was just in crucible and something like gamut i was easily getting three supers per round so is this a build you should be utilizing where it shines the most at least for nezarak sin combining it with something like telesto is that yes it's wonderful for ad clear it's also wonderful for going in there and getting team wipes with having that ability to blink around really messes with enemies especially guys that are sitting there just trying to charge up their sleeper so for me, I used it purely offensively. I would go in there, I would clear a bunch of different ads out, get my super within a minute. By the time we're dropping 25 motes in, I'm already in on the other team, getting a team wipe. What's so perfect about this is that getting that team wipe or getting those void kills with your super will proc abyssal extractors yet again. So the moment you're coming out of your super, you already have 20 seconds of abyssal extractors already going. So yes, this loadout is scary good. It's not necessarily the loadout I would use for DPS on bosses. You could go that route, but playing with our Chaos Reach build the other day, that is by far the best build for that. This, for me, even in something like PvP, is purely for high super volume. And we're not even rocking five super mods with this build. I can only imagine what this build would be like with five super mods already cutting that super down by 80 something seconds on top of Nezarak Sin and Light Reactor working together. I'm projecting you could possibly get your super anything south of a minute in Crucible. Of course, all of these things depend on you getting kills, which is why we're using Telesto and it's not a problem doing that. Now somebody's gonna ask, what about this build with Fighting Lion? 
you can do it with Fighting Lion. Yes, you can get Abyssal Extractors to proc for you with Fighting Lion. It is a void weapon and it does a good job for ad clearing. The only downside is there's not a perk there that will give you bonus super energy on grenade launcher kills. Again, this is for snipers, this is for shotguns, and for fusion rifles, and for power weapons, but nothing here that just states bonus super energy on grenade launcher kills, which is why I think something like Telesto is one of the best options. Now, shout out to Savage Man for letting me get on his account. This is his personal build. He had sent me a message a few nights ago with some screenshots. He said he was getting three Three supers per round and gamut so I had to try it for myself fellas let me know in the comments below what you think of this one I'm almost ashamed to show this one I mean really especially in something like crucible considering how nasty Telesto can be already but it is a nasty build fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right